Taking a step back. That's what Trinidad and Tobago batsman Darren Bravo says he will do after being snubbed of a place in the West Indies One Day International squad for the upcoming series against England, which bowls off on Sunday in Antigua and Barbuda. This is what he posted to Instagram at the weekend. I've taken some time to ponder and wonder what's my next step moving forward as a cricketer. At this point in my career, it's not easy or should I say it takes a lot to continue to find the energy, the passion, commitment and discipline to be able to perform to the best of my ability and to put myself in a position to make my return to international cricket. Without any level of communication, I've been left in a very dark place. At the moment, there's three teams representing the region in multiple formats or series. That's approximately 40 to 45 players. And if I can't be in any of these teams after competing in our regional tournaments and scoring runs, therefore, they are basically telling me that the writing is on the wall. I'm not giving up, but I believe it's best to step away just for a bit and maybe make some room for a young and upcoming talent. I will end by wishing each and every one all the very best. I've lived my dream, 46, hashtag age is just a number. All right, so Ricardo, um, you know, this has been a discussion on the Sportsback Zone. We had DJ Bravo, the older brother of Darren Bravo on the show when the news came out of the team you know being selected against england darren bravo has posted this on instagram now you stand at the top of the show he appears broken you know he's dejected based on the fact that i would think he's done what was required of him because in order to be selected for the windy squad you have to contribute in the area that you're specialized in in a really good manner to be in contention for a spot. He was the top scorer in this Super 50 tournament this year and the year before. We sit here now with a broken Darren Bravo who feels as if he needs to take a step back and think about what's next because he would feel, Ricardo, he's done everything that was required of him except his age. And to me, that age is still a different topic of discussion because other players very close in age to him got selected. What yeah. do you make of it? <laughs> yeah, so as I said earlier, Mariah, when I read the post from Darren Bravo, um, I felt the frustration, I felt the hurt, I felt the disappointment that he is not in this one day international squad to face England because as you pointed out, he has done everything that the selectors or the selection policy in my opinion would have asked of him you look at his contributions in the last four editions of the regional super 50 for example um, where he is averaging 83 48 um, 95 96 every single one of those seasons for example he has a better average um, than let's say Kieran Utley who is in the squad um, Kieran Utley is 33 years old, Bravo is 34 years old. Um, Desmond Haynes has said that Bravo's omission from this squad is because they are looking to the future, because they are looking to the next World Cup tournament. So is the suggestion then that a 33-year-old Kieran Utley is in your plans for four years down the road, but a 34-year-old Darren Bravo, who is scoring over the last four editions of the Super 50, significantly more runs than Utley, is not in your plans. There is something wrong with that as far as I am concerned. Um, this, to me, Mariah, is the type of decision that selectors can and maybe even should be sacked for because the explanation is too far wide from what you have done 
on a whole. It, can, it, it does not make any sense for you to say, Diane Bravo is, is too old and is not in our plans for three years, um, yet you pick someone who is a year younger than he is. 33, 34, what's the big difference when Diane Bravo has been making significantly more runs? So that in itself is a problem. I also take note, Mariah, of the Cricket West Indies president, Dr. Kishore Shallow, coming out and saying there is no policy on age or there is no policy on excluding any player based on their age. That's significant for me. Also, what I consider to be significant, Mariah, is what Desmond Haynes said about Darren Bravo back in February. And I want to remind our viewers of exactly what he said. This was during the regional four day. Bravo had just come off a pair of centuries. And this is what, this is what Desmond Haynes said. I think we in the Caribbean, uh, we don't have the luxury to really talk about, you know, age is not on someone's side. You know, if someone is doing very well, in our uh, competition, I think his name must come up for selection. Uh, I think Bravo has has proven that he can play cricket at the highest level, and it's just a matter of you know if you you know we can get the guys if they're committed and they and they really want to play. But Bravo is a class act. I mean, he has he has done well at Test level. He had a period where he just lost his form and so forth. But we know that Bravo is good enough to make runs at this level, and um, you know we we will continue to to monitor Bravo's progress. So I'm not saying that you can't change your mind, right? But in February, we don't have the luxury of not picking our best players, um, which, by the way, I completely agree with. I don't think West Indies cricket has the luxury of not picking your best players in the moment. I don't think any team that is losing consistently has the luxury of not picking your best team. You pick your best team in the now, you get the results and you build with those results over time. Dwayne Bravo mentioned it last week as well. At the end of every World Cup cycle, the selectors speak about building for the next World Cup, building for the next World Cup. But then you're either struggling to qualify or if you manage to squeeze into the tournament, you're finishing ninth or 10th. So you're not seeing the results of that quote unquote building process. And why we are not thinking about picking our best players and getting as many wins as possible is beyond me. So what? You are willing to go another three years um, continuing to lose? That doesn't make any sense to me. So that I have a problem with. But in February, Mariah, Desmond Haynes is saying we don't have the luxury of not picking our best players but now he is singing a completely different tune. I also note that in February, he was speaking about, it's about whether the players are committed and really want to play. And so I have to be thinking to myself because nothing else makes sense. Is it that the selectors don't think that Darren Bravo is committed and really wants to play. But he has appeared on the show and we've asked him about his commitment and he has expressed his desire publicly to, of course, represent the West Indies. One of the things, though, when DJ Bravo was on, right, Leighton asked Bravo, because, of course, when we do interviews, we at, we're at the core trying to get a balanced interview. So Leighton brought the point, Ricardo, about DJ, DJ uh, Dway, Bravo. Which Darren one? Bravo. <laughs> okay. Thank you for that. <laughs> Darren Bravo, you know, representing in the Super 50 and not giving the same performance in Wendy's Colors, right? Leighton asked about that. Yes. And DJ Bravo, of course, you know, explained that he has not been afforded numerous opportunities to do that because when he yes. gets the momentum, of course, he's dropped. Yes. So for me, I'm wondering if that was a consideration when the selectors... It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. And I tell you why, Mariah. In my opinion, Darren Bravo, and in a way, he admitted this when he spoke with us as well. Darren Bravo was prematurely brought back into the West Indies setup. Um, and so his results, especially in test cricket, um, he had that horrible tour of New Zealand, for example, after his return. Um, I think he averaged about 13 um, in seven or eight test matches. But in my opinion, he was prematurely brought back into the setup. Uh, he got dropped. 
he should have been dropped at the time. But the fact is, Darren Bravo has gone back, worked on his game, he has improved significantly, he has put the performances down, both in 50 over cricket and um, four day cricket at the regional level, and I think deserves an opportunity at this stage to be back in the West Indies fold. Now, if you select him on the back of his performances at the regional level and he goes to the highest level again and does not perform, then we can have a different conversation, Mariah. But okay. you cannot look at Darren's numbers at the regional level in recent times and judge him based on what was happening four or five years ago when, as I said, he was prematurely brought back into the fold. And when we spoke to him, he did say he got selected at times when he never thought he was going to be selected. But I think what we have to make up in our minds, and, and this is where I am disappointed in Desmond Haynes as head of the selection panel. Do we believe that the quality that Darren Bravo has that he can still contribute significantly over a three or a four year period, even if it is going to be a two year period to West Indies cricket. And if the answer to that is yes, then the performances he's put down at the regional level should be more than enough for him to have been selected for this um, series against England. And yeah. it's disappointing that he is not selected, but it is even more disappointing the reason that has been put forward by Desmond Haynes why he is not selected. So this stepping away from international cricket. He's this hurt. Temp no, wait, wait, Ricardo. Is this a permanent step away? No, he's hurt. This is a 34-year-old man who is begging to be heard at this stage because he does not feel that his performances <laughs> um, are getting him the required attention from the selectors. And so now he doesn't know what to do. And this is what he does. He goes on social media like we've seen with modern day sportsmen and women. Yeah. And he puts something out there. Um, and, and I completely understand it because, as I said, I hear the frustration in that post from Darren Bravo because he knows he should have been selected. The entire Caribbean knows that he should have been selected. Clearly, the only ones who don't know that Darren Bravo should have been selected um, are, the selectors. are the selectors. And I tell you something, Mariah, again, I, I'm sorry I have to repeat this, but what makes it worse is that you pick a 33-year-old Kieran Utley who did not perform as well as Darren Bravo did in the Super 50 tournament, who has in four seasons not performed as well as Darren Bravo has at regional four day or 50 over level. And yeah. then, and then you, you've shot yourself in the foot as far as I'm concerned when you make selections like that. It yeah. does not make any sense. And even the Windies Academy team and all that, you know, Bravo went on to say approximately 40 to 45 players mm -hmm. are playing and he hasn't even made any of the teams, not just the Windies team, but any of the other teams. And I think that as well, you know, it, it evokes a lot of questions yeah. because, okay, he doesn't make the big team, the Windy yeah. senior team. But, but what about the rest of the yeah, team? Yeah, he's probably not going to make the emerging team, but definitely the A team. Right. If you want to see him playing at a higher level in other conditions, whatever the case, and, and maybe you think, then okay, send him to South Africa, get him some A team cricket. I mean, that would make sense to me if this is someone you see um, that can contribute significantly to, to West Indies cricket, but that has not been done. And yeah, it, you know, Mariah, I am convinced that there is some other reason that Desmond Haynes feels he cannot say that is stopping him and the selection panel as a whole from picking Darren Bravo. No, but then because you come up clearly with a, it can't be cricket. But then you come up with a different reason. Don't say age because I think that. But that's was... the point I'm making. I'm I'm suggesting that there is another reason that Desmond Haynes feels he cannot say publicly. No, I would much prefer Desmond Haynes putting that reason out there, but then he would probably say, "I am in the media, so of course I want the scoop." But if you're not going to put that reason out there, then 
don't come up with the one that you came up with. Yeah. Do a much better job than the reason you came up with because that is not good enough and that makes Desmond Haynes and the entire selection panel of Cricket West Indies look foolish. And again, I love the fact that the president, Kishore Shala, came out and said, we have no policy about not selecting an individual because of their age. Mm. Mm. Well, Important point. Yeah. I'll say before we go, Mariah, hold strong, Diane Bravo. Hold strong. I think your time is still coming. Give it a few months. It will happen. Mm.